Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at the haul that I had for this week. So it was basically Wednesday, Thursday, and today, Friday. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any hunting tomorrow. I have a couple things that I need to do, so um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up for this week. Now, if you caught my previous video to this one, it was actually uh, me unboxing the Walmart exclusive Black Friday um, mystery box uh, powered by Funko. And basically, uh, you know, obviously I was showing you guys what was inside of the box and I was able to pick up that um, Killer Croc in Popster, which looks really, really awesome. So if you guys haven't seen the video, uh, just check back. It was the one that I uploaded before this one. So this week was actually um, pretty eventful as far as uh, hunting goes. I wanted to try and do some of the um, hunting videos, you know, where I go into the stores and stuff like that. But... Uh, there was just so many different things going on. I was picking up pops from from certain people that had purchased some for me, um, you know, and I was you know just driving around all over the place. So um, I didn't have time to turn on the camera and stuff like that. I just kind of wanted to get them all together and then show you guys um, right at the end. So um, let me go ahead and start with uh, one of the first ones that I picked up. So um, last haul video I showed you guys that I picked up the brain from Pinky and the Brain was I was actually able to find pinky as well so now i have the pair um for some reason pinky is really hard to find down here um i found a lot of the brain uh which is kind of weird because you would think that if people were to purchase them they would purchase them together but you know i was able to find one and he was in uh, pretty good condition so i went ahead and picked him up so now i have both of those and i really wanted to pick those up uh, i did mention this in the last video because i've been showing them to to my boys and you know they really love the song and stuff like that but it definitely takes me back to when i used to watch the cartoon and that's what i really like about collecting funko pops is you know just whenever i grab one and i look at it and it reminds me of what i was doing or how i was feeling you know in the particular time when i was either seeing the movie or the cartoon or whatever it is that the pop is representing, it kind of takes me back to that time. So I really do like that. So um, when I was actually hunting for the Walmart exclusive uh, Black Friday box, uh, I went into one of the Walmarts and I was asking about it and stuff like that. And as I was looking through the aisles, I actually came across um, this pop, which I had completely given up on. I didn't think that I was going to find it anywhere. Um, just because it's very hard, difficult to find Walmart exclusives down in my area. But, you know, I, you know, went to the pop aisle and there it was sitting there and I obviously decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is number 135 in the Pop Heroes line from the Suicide Squad. This is the Dr. Harleen pop. And obviously this is a Walmart exclusive. Again, uh, you know, she was just sitting there basically untouched. So I, you know, I definitely had to pick her up. She looks really, really cool. Uh, you know, she's got the glasses and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I, I know that for a while, a lot of people were looking for her. And then all of a sudden she disappeared, obviously, after the movie came out. But they must have gotten some sort of restock or something because they had both her and the Tuxedo Joker. I didn't pick him up. Um, I just, uh, I had an, I have enough Jokers already, but she looks completely different than all her other um, uh you know, pops or whatever. So if you guys see the ones in the back here, uh, yeah, she different hairstyle and stuff like that. But you know, she looks a lot different. So that's why I went ahead and picked her up. Now, um, I actually had somebody um, come across this particular one. I had mentioned that I really wanted this pop. Also, I hadn't seen it anywhere else. Um, one of my fellow collectors found it and he asked if I wanted it. I said yes. He picked it up for me, so I was actually able to pick it up from him. And this is uh, number one twenty eight in the Pop Games. Um, this is the Five Nights at Freddy's Toy Freddy Walmart exclusive and I think it looks really really awesome. I love the fact that they um, just by adding a couple different things they make him look completely different. He looks uh, a lot nicer I guess you would you would say than his um, you know his other forms. So then this one here and obviously the Nightmare one. I do have the Nightmare one. Um, I don't have the common one so I figured you know having this one is uh, just as good and it is the Walmart exclusive also. So got him as well um now i do want to touch up on um you know obviously like i mentioned i got him through a fellow collector uh i have found that um you know collecting is it's really fun and stuff like that and you know once in a while you do need some sort of uh, a group to kind of help you to find those hidden gems and things like that so if you guys are able to you know maybe find fellow collectors in your area or close enough to you so that 
you know, when things come up, maybe you can't look for them and stuff like that. I would definitely recommend this because it's it's been a world of difference as far as for me and for the fellow um, collectors that I have in my group. Uh, there's about five or six of us and we just kind of look out for each other and, you know, give us give information as far as, um, you know, when it comes up, you know, maybe I'm at work and I can't look at my phone or the computer or stuff like that. Other people can and they pick up stuff and I pick up stuff. So it's really, really awesome. It's a great community. So if you guys are able to make friends with fellow collectors in your area, I definitely do recommend it. Um, we, uh, we actually do it through Instagram, which is a lot easier because we can post pictures and, you know, the updates come as soon as they go and stuff like that. So it's really awesome. So, all right, back to the uh, the rest of the pops. This is another one that was actually picked up by a fellow collector. Um, he knew that I was trying to collect all the ones in this line. And this is obviously the Star Wars Rogue One line. I'm trying to get all the pops in that line. He came across it. He picked it up. You know, called me up and said, hey, I picked this pop up for you. I know you wanted it. I know you were looking for it. So um, I was really appreciated that. This is number 155, again, in the Star Wars Rogue One line. And this is Biston. Uh, yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Biston. So obviously, he is a New York Comic Con exclusive. And he looks really, really awesome. Um, I know a lot of people were, um, were stating to see how he's going to look in the actual movie just because of the way that he looks in the pop. There isn't a lot of um, screen time that this guy has gotten as far as in the previews. So uh, for the most part, you know, I'm dying to see what he looks like in real life or not real life, but in the movie because he looks really, really cool as far as the pop go. Uh, as far as the rest of the line, I pretty much have everybody else. Um, all the exclusives uh, from the different stores and then I actually just signed up for the smugglers bounty box which should be bringing these two so another uh, variant of Gene and then uh, another um, death trooper and I think for the most part the only one that I don't think anybody else has seen either is the Walmart exclusive the chrome death trooper so that's the only one that I would be missing again until Funko decides to bring out you know yet something else which they always do but you know I got him to add to the collection which is really nice so picked him up um, from there I actually got word that a um, the fellow or the the local comic book store in my area that I kind of showcase in a lot of uh, my videos Corka Comics they had received a shipment of some new pops specifically um, two that one that I wasn't really looking for, but I wanted to see it in person to see if I picked it up. And then the other one, it was part of a line that I that I was looking for. So um, I'll show you guys. The first one is, um, this is number 116 in the Pop Heroes line. And this is from the Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. And this is the PX Previews exclusive, The Joker. And he looks really, really awesome. I wanted to see him in person just to see how they translated, obviously, the um, the way that he looks in the back. Because I already have the armored Batman. I picked it up from Corka also. So I saw him in the back and I said, you know, he looks really, really cool. So um, I think they did a really awesome job in translating him into the pop form. You know, the white suit with the white makeup on his face and then the purple accents and the green hair and the knife. And his, everything looks really cool on this guy. So... Um, I was actually uh, pretty lucky to find him. They only had a couple of them there, so I picked him up. And then while I was there, they were actually unboxing uh, a box that they had received, and they had received a couple different pops in this line. Uh, this is the only one that I picked up because I found that the majority of them had really, really bad paint applications. Um, and that's uh, this is number 177 in the new X-Men line. This is Cable. So I knew I wanted to pick him up for sure, but for the most part, the majority of the cables had a lot of really um, sloppy paintwork as far as like in the hairline. I don't know if you guys can see it, you know, so obviously he has white hair and then he has a little bit darker shade uh, as far as the skin around his face. And that and the majority of the ones that, I, that they had there was bleeding onto the hair. So you have like brown uh, above the hairline. And then his uniform is really awesome. You know, he has a vibrant blue and the very bright yellow. And I don't know, the application of the yellow onto the blue, it was like spilling over on a lot of them. This was actually the best one that I found. Uh, obviously, the box is in great condition. Now, besides Cable, they actually also received um, Psylocke and Storm. Uh, Psylocke, I will probably be picking up, but the ones that they had, because she has that sword in her hand, um, unfortunately, she was plagued with the 
debilitating issue that a lot of pops that have swords um, go through and that's where they kind of bend or warp and stuff like that so I figured since they're gonna be common still you know they'll probably continue to get them if not I could probably find them somewhere else but uh, I will be picking her up and then they also received storm with the mohawk she didn't really impress me too much um, I think I'm gonna pass on her for now I think for the most part the only besides Psylocke the only other two obviously Archangel and Sabretooth I will be picking up from this line but um, you know I, I think Quicksilver and Storm are going to be a um, game day decision if I do want to finish off that line maybe I'll pick them up you know I, I'll have to look at them in person Storm for the most part she was kind of plain and yeah she's got the mohawk and the little lightning bolt earrings but her head sculpt is you know basically like a bald head with a mohawk on it and then I, I think they missed out on the body. It, you know, it just has like a black jacket and black pants. No real accents. So it's very dark. So that's probably, that's the reason why I kind of passed up on her. But uh, I will be keeping an eye on it because um, they should be receiving some more. And hopefully the rest of the line uh, fairly soon. So um, today I actually got word from one of my fellow collectors that uh, a comic book store a little bit north of where I live. Uh, it's called Hope's Comic. They're actually having a weekend sale starting today, Friday. And um, one of the things that they were including in the sale is they were doing $5 off every pop, which is really awesome because, you know, if you, you know, want to beef up your collection and things like that, $5 off a $10 or $15 pop is a really good deal. So I drove about half an hour north. I met them there. And uh, the store is really awesome. Um, you know, all the comic books and all the figures and the pops and everything is nicely laid out. So it was a great atmosphere in the store too. I was there about an hour and a half or about an hour, I would say. I'm um, just kind of looking through the different pops and picking them up and stuff like that. And they do have, uh, they had comments, they had exclusives, they had a lot of stuff there, which was really cool. So I ended up picking up a couple pops there. And again, the majority or all of these were fifty uh, $5 off the price of the pop so you know i found a ten dollar one which was five dollars a twelve dollar one which is you know seven dollars so you know it was it was a really really good deal so i decided to pick up a couple pops one uh this one right here which i had seen before but for um unfortunately the paint apps were really bad and the box was really badly messed up and um this is number 56 in the pot and the marvels pop line uh this is from thor this is lady sif so uh, this one was actually really good, in really good condition. The box was in good condition. The pop itself was in great condition. And um, the reason that I picked her up is because um, collecting pops has actually um, kind of helped me grow into watching other shows and things like that. So I actually started watching um, Blind Spot, which is the uh, the show you guys have probably seen the preview where um, the girl gets found in um, you know in New York all tattooed up and stuff like that. So the character that plays uh, Lady Sif also plays that character, so it kind of tied in together. And I think the pop looks really really awesome. So I picked her up again. You know she's a common, but um, I haven't really seen her um, that often, so um, I decided to pick her up. Now this one I picked up just because um, I have never seen it before. Um, I don't uh, actively collect in this particular line. I have a couple of them, but uh, for the most part, he looked really cool. And again, he's an exclusive. So this is number 19 in the Harry Potter line. So this is Draco Malfoy. And this is the one where he has the, uh, the broom and he's got his uh, Quidditch outfit on. Obviously, this is a Hot Topic exclusive. And I had never seen it before. I think these came out before I actually started collecting pops. So, um, you know, he looked pretty cool. So again, it's not a common one. So I decided to pick him up to add him to the collection. And then uh, last but not least, um, I have definitely never seen this particular pop before. Um, it's in a line that I don't have any of. And I love the way that they made them. The colors look really awesome. The sculpt is really cool. So this is uh, number 21 in the Masters of the Universe, the pop television line. This is Hordak. All right, so there he is. Again, I had never seen this pop before. I have seen He-Man, I've seen Skeletor. Uh, obviously, I've seen videos of people showing some of the other ones, but I've never seen um, Hordak, which is this one here, or Spikor, which is the uh, kind of spiky guy down here. I've never seen either one of those two. So when I saw him there, you know, I, I decided to just snatch him up. This guy was $15, again, minus $5, so it was $10 for this particular pop. So I, I thought that was a really awesome deal for a pop that I had never seen before. So I think um, between the three pops, so Lady Sith, Draco Malfoy, and Hordak, I spent $28. So obviously less than $10 a pop. 
and you know you really can't beat it uh, i think they're running that that special this whole weekend so if you guys are in the south florida area uh hopes comic you know look it up and you know just go by there and check it out they have a lot of pops a lot of exclusives a lot of pops that come in like the subscription boxes and stuff like that so if you guys are looking for like that Catwoman that just came out they have that one there and again they're offering five dollars off all the pops so definitely check them out so that was my haul for this week again it was a you know, fairly decent haul. Uh, I was actually able to pick up a couple of pops that I wasn't able to from fellow collectors. Again, I definitely um, want to reiterate that if you have collectors in your area, get together with them, you know, so you guys can help each other out. It's it's done a world of difference for me and for the other people in my group. And uh, for the most part, uh, it was pretty fun. Like I said, I'm, I'm not planning on uh, hunting tomorrow, but you never know. It's a game day decision in my change when I wake up in the morning. But uh, that's it. That is my haul for this week. Let me know if you guys have any questions.